What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So I know over the past several videos I kept saying I was not going to do illusions, uh, that I was going to save up for Phoenix, but I went into the card shop today just to see what was going on with Brian and he was talking about NFL Player of the Day. Um, his shop is not starting it until tomorrow, but he said if I went and bought a box today um, that he would go ahead and give me some NFL Player of the Day cards. Um, so he had his right at a flat rate of 150, um, so that's what I ended up getting it for. And gave me three NFL Player of the Day packs. So um, let's go ahead and get into Player of the Day. So a lot of you that don't know what Player of the Day is, it is... Um, if you pull a card for the player of the day, like tomorrow, uh, the player of the day is going to be Tom Brady. So if you pull a Tom Brady, you get entered into a drawing. And then in his shop, uh, he has one weekly runner uh, across four weeks. And at the end of those four weeks, he draws the names. First place gets um, their pick of either a DK Metcalf RPA or a mystery slabbed auto. Um, and then second place gets whatever they don't get. And then the second, or the sorry, the third and fourth place get the... Um, uh, breaker mats that he has. So David Montgomery and Melvin Gordon. Um, I know there are some one of ones in here, but most of the cards look like these two right here. Um, I saw what some of the cards actually look like, and I thought it was actually pretty cool. So we'll see what we do. Um, both of these look pretty. Actually, I have one. This one's actually thicker than the other ones. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Try my luck. Maybe I'll get lucky and uh, get it. Well, it looks like we got two Melvin Gordons. So Bradley Chubb, and then a Melvin Gordon Chrome, player of the day. Bradley Chubb tore his ACL, so he's out for the season. Uh, Montez Perfect was suspended for the entire 2019 season because he has been known to make a lot of dirty hits. Um, he's the one that actually hurt Ryan Shazier uh, pretty bad and ended his career, potentially crippled him, but he's recovering nicely from that. Uh, it's just a filler card in the back of this one. So, uh, Julian Edelman, and then we have a Tony Pollard rookie card, and this is the chrome finish. Not numbered. So, no Tom Brady. But that is okay. So, in the background, um, that was from Jam and, that was from Jam and JD. I just hit my light. That one's from Jim and JD. Um, he pulled that out of his Spectra box. I picked that up off of him. That's the Dan Marino that I pulled, and then the Dan Marino at Illuminance. So I'm trying to get a Dan Marino patch um, out of every product. Um, I have found a couple of others, but I'm just waiting until it gets closer time to bid so I don't sit there and bid and bid and bid and the price keeps jacking up. I know it probably will at the end of the day, but I don't want to see $200 and there's still six days to go because that's just kind of discouraging. Um, so we have 2019 Illusions, five cards uh, per pack, 10 packs per box, one slabbed uh, top loader, and you got three autographs, including one encased, and then two memorabilia cards. A lot of one ones you know, one acetate per um, pack, trophy collection parallels, and then first impressions autograph memorabilia, featuring the hottest rookies of 2019. Then the odds on the back. All right, let's get into it. Dolphins looked pretty good on Sunday until, of course, the second quarter when the Chargers just started coming back. Um, Josh Rosen actually had a pretty good first quarter. Um, he was 4 for 4 and a touchdown, so not too bad. Still suck, but, you know, not too bad. Empty box. All right, let's get into it. So on the back, we have Sony Michelle, 186 at a 399. Astounding. Let's actually put these up here. 
Saquon base, Devin White, and Philip. Oh, well, let's not damage the cards. Philip Rivers and Ryan Finley. This is the back of the card, just plain basic card. Rookie, rookie. And we have a cowboy. It is a DAC. Not numbered, but it is the Mystique. Tom Brady. That blue is really nice with the Pets uniform, and that's at a 299. 209 out of 299. Juju Base, David Johnson, and Brian Burns. He uh, was funny because Brian was actually saying that uh, regardless if I pull a Tom Brady out of the player of the day pack, he knows I'm going to pull a Tom Brady because I usually pull Tom Brady base or numbered out of most of my breaks. If you go back and look at a lot of them, you'll see that almost the Tom Brady comes out of every pack or box that I rip. Um, when we're speaking in large numbers of packs. And then we have a Drew Brees, Shining Stars. Adjust this light a little bit so it's not right on there. DK Metcalf, ooh, that is 67 out of 99, the green. That is nice. Quinn and Williams rookie. Another DK Metcalf rookie, and then Hakeem Butler. He's a rookie this year, so why do his cards not say rookie? At least I think he's a rookie. Huh. Cardinals got dominated again, you know. Um, Kyler Murray, uh, everybody was talking about how great Kyler Murray is. It's like it doesn't matter how great the quarterback is. If you don't have a line or anything, then, you know, you can't really do much. Uh, this is a Russell Wilson, 4 out of 149, so I'm getting a lot of Seahawks. That's the green Shining Stars. And then Dwayne Haskins patch. Mm, is this one of the numbered ones? It is not. I know the impressions is number, but that kind of looked like the impressions. So that's our first hit. Tristan Hill rookie, Alvin Kamara, and Devin Singletary. Devin Singletary is PC. That's my side PC for those of you that don't know, that don't follow me. Um, I was, I'm always big on uh, Devin Singletary. We grew up down the road from each other. Followed him his whole college career. Uh, knew that he was going to do really well, even though he's hurt. Hopefully he has a speedy recovery so he can start getting more touches and get back up there. Um, so any Devin Singletary's that come across, uh, I, I generally hold on to. This is definitely a Seahawks case. This here is a Tyler Lockett that's numbered. This is 250 out of 299. And there's our first auto. And that's the blue. Astounding. Kind of hard to see. The blue astounding. Clinton Farrell, rookie. Otto. Darius Geis, second year. And Nick Bosa, rookie. Oh, there's one more in the back. I don't know why I keep thinking about the fifth, keep forgetting about the fifth card. Adam Thielen was the last card. And then, uh, was it Ryan Kelly, the Jags? Or, sorry, not the Jags, the, um, Panthers back up. He could not hold on to the ball. I picked him up thinking he was going to do good this year or uh, this week in fantasy, and it did not pan out too well because he had four fumbles. And this is a throwback Andre Reed. Living Legends. Ooh, man. Six of seven, Kenny Galladay, whoa, or sorry, not, yeah, Kenny Galladay and then Calvin Johnson, so 
If you guys know, the last year always had the one of the former old school players or one of the, the legends in the back. So this is Kenny... Damn it, man. Kenny Galladay up front. Let me check out this card now since I just kind of dropped it. And... Nope, we are good. Um, Kenny Galladay is on the front and then Calvin Johnson is in the back. It's kind of hard to see with... You can kind of see it there. But six out of seven, that is absolutely nasty. That got that nice shine to it as well. That's the first one I've seen like that. That's how they old that's how they were last year, but this year it's just the same player here. Odell Beckham, Amari Cooper, and then Mike Evans base. So we're still looking for another mem, and then we're looking for another auto. Minus the slab, because we know the slab already has an auto in it. Then a... got a gold coming up. Derek Henry. Astounding. Paris Campbell. Speaking of Paris Campbell, if you follow me on IG, you would have known the uh, incoming that I had from the Flawless Break. Absolutely sick. I actually got it in the mail today. I opened it up to check on the, the condition of it because the it's in between a top loader. It's not exactly 180. It's like a 160. Um, I should have had him put a top loader or not a top loader, a filler card in the back. Um, but this is at a 399, so 215 out of 399. Jared Goff, base. And then we have Fletcher Cox and Deshaun Watson base. Looked at it is absolutely sick. It's it's definitely definitely an amazing card. Not a big Ohio State fan, but if I can't sell it, then I'm definitely going to hold on to it. I've already had a couple of people offer um, make offers on it, but I'm just going to wait to see. Uh, what everybody else has to offer because I know there's still a couple people I'm waiting on so uh, Miles Garrett And that is a redemption so let's just do this Miles Garrett clear shots And it's the same rookies that um, The same rookies that are in all the other products that still have to have autos that don't have autos yet Derrick Henry base another Patrick Mahomes I'm not pulling a lot of Chiefs out of this box but I'm pulling a lot of Seahawks Patrick Mahomes base Debo Samuels rookie actually let me set this Pat Mahomes up here and let's use our filler card for this. Is it going to be Paris Campbell? Is it going to be AJ Brown? Marquise Brown? First impressions autographed memorabilia. Green. So green is out of, it might be different, but what was the green out of on here? The green was out of 99, so it might be lower than 99 since it's a RPA. 101 AJ Brown. AJ Brown hasn't been getting a lot of playing time. Um, not as much as Marquise Brown or any of the Paris Campbell and Riley Ridley have almost been almost non existent, but haven't seen a whole lot of AJ Brown. I know he had a, a, a little bit more um, this past game. I actually watched it, but overall speaking, him and Paris Campbell are the ones that have had any stellar games so far this year. So that was our RPA. So we're looking for one more mem card. This one seemed a little thicker, so this is our mem card. We're going to save that for last. Yep, that was our mem card. So, Baker Mayfield. I don't know if you guys were checking uh, out what was going on between Twitter, between AJ, um, AJ Brown, Antonio Brown, and first Eric Weddle, and then it was Antonio Brown and Baker Mayfield, but... Antonio Brown's just still trying to stay relevant, and he knows he's not going to be relevant just because he may never play again. I hope he never plays again. He's just tainting the league, bringing a lot of unnecessary drama. So Shining Stars, Baker Mayfield. And then another Paris Campbell. 
So we have an Akil Harry. This is 70, 70 out of 75 purple. Another Nikhil Harry base. Rashawn Gary rookie and a Paris Campbell rookie. All right, last pack. Let's see, well, I just saw the team, so it is a Steeler uh, patch. We're gonna, it's a Living Legends too. So we'll see what it is. Tremaine Edmonds, clear shots. And that is numbered 162 out of 399. Kenyon Drake. Base. Let me set that over to the side. Marquise Brown. Rookie base. Joe Flacco, QB. And who is Joe Flacco covering up? Benny Snow Jr. Oh, this is a triple. James Conner, Jerome Bettis. Oh, sweet Jesus. And it's gold. Ah, oh, man, those patches are really disappointing. Jersey, jersey, jersey. Yeah, like number, number, and then a piece of the side of the jersey. Lineage, gold. Is this numbered? Man, how is this not numbered? And then Joe Flacco base. It's a shame it's not numbered. And all of them are player worn too. Still a nice card. I just can't believe it's not numbered. It's a gold for the Steelers gold. That's pretty nice. Alright, so let's see where'd that filler card go. What did I do with that filler card? It's under here. Well, let's see the bottom, it's a charger, so it is rookie endorsement, so it's Easton Stick. And that is 59 out of 99. Not the best player. Definitely could have been a little bit better. So we we'll just go back over these real quick. We got the Nikhil Harry out of 75. We got the Paris Campbell out of 399. This was probably the, the sickest card in this entire box. Was the Kenny Galladay with the Calvin Johnson. That little bit of prism. You can't really see Calvin Johnson because the shine on the card. There you go. You can see it like that. Calvin Johnson in the background. This is 6 of 7. DK Metcalf out of 99. And then a Tom Brady out of 299. And then we got the Dwayne Haskins patch, which was not numbered. Just to make sure I didn't miss it. Yeah, not numbered. Clinton Farrell, Rookie Auto, that was out of 199 The A.J. Brown, Redemption, First Impressions, Autograph Memorabilia. The Jerome Bettis, James Conner, Benny Snow Jr. Lineage, Triple Patch, not numbered. And then we had the Tremaine Edmonds. I believe this was numbered. Yeah, the Tremaine Edmonds was at a 399. Baker was not numbered. Garrett was not numbered. Henry was not numbered. Uh, Tyler Lockett was at a 299. 250 at a 299. Russell Wilson at a 149. Drew Brees was not numbered. Dak was not numbered, and then Sony Michelle was at a 399. So 186 out of 399. So you see, it pulled a lot of, pulled uh, a couple of uh, Patriots and a couple of Seahawks. So it was about 50 50 Patriots uh, Seahawks box, but not too bad. Uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Continue to support my channel. Um, I do have a couple of more mail days coming in. If you watched my last mail day video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, we do have Prism coming up, Brothers and Cards coming up, and we also have Phoenix, which I'm really excited for. Prism 
I can't honestly say, I know for a fact if it's $200, I will not buy Prism. Um, but Phoenix, if we can't, if I don't get Prism, then that means I'm just going to get another box of Phoenix because I really do like Phoenix and I have not ripped a box yet, so I'm actually pretty excited for that. Anyways, I will catch you guys later.